This is the video review for the Cyberverse Shockwave Fusion Tank. As you can see, there it is uh, right there. And um, I'm going to try to make this a little bit more of a review, uh, you know, point out a few flaws and things like that. Um, so, so get ready. Um, we're going to start off, I think, by talking by uh, about some of the fun parts of Cyberverse Shockwave. So here we go. See that? That's the cardboard backdrop he comes with. And it's kind of a shame when, uh, and it's cool. There's explosions, there's three lanes of traffic going down the highway into the distance, a city in ruins, explosion, destruction, car on fire over here, another red car on fire over here, gloom and doom. And it's really a shame when the cardboard insert that comes with your toy is the most exciting part about it. So, on to the tank itself. Um, this is where, this is the part of the review I call the mediocre to crappy bits. Um, as you can see, there he is. He's a tank. He's got a missile launcher back here. Uh, he can fire that missile if the hose doesn't keep it from, from launching. Um, and it doesn't go very far. But he does have a missile launcher back here. Uh, this is the fusion tank. This is, uh, Shockwave getting butt-raped by, uh, his driller machine. who's also been painted purple because it loves Shockwave so much. It even has his little plugged in. It's got little claws just grabbing onto the back of him so he can't get away from the horribleness of the Friggin' anyway, um, so yeah, I just call, I, I just referred to a shockwave toy. It, like it, this, this thing really, it really is like the literal, literal interpretation of one giant purple robot butt raping another. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and like this. This is the whole fusion tank. There it is. It's a tank. Um, it barely fits together. Uh, you can already see some stress points just by plugging it in the way you're supposed to. Um, so that's always fun. Nothing major, but some little stress marks. So let's go ahead and detach the. Uh, the autoerotic monstrosity. This is the back part. That's going to be the base. Here's the actual shockwave tank. And you can see his arms are already kind of mishmashed up into place. And also, if you look right here, you can see where I've already managed to, like, already snapped the tabs off. And I did it on purpose. It's not, that's not a, oh, it broke while I was transforming it. I purposely snipped these tabs off, these pegs off, because you're supposed to have all this lined up like this. And you can see there's his body underneath. Um, and Shockwave as a robot is not is not too horribly bad. But uh, here's the thing. This is how this is supposed to be, and these are supposed to peg into here. Um, you can see that doesn't happen. There's no slider I'm missing. Um, I followed the instructions. I've even looked at the box. Hold on, let me get the box real quick. If you've got the toy in hand, like, I've even looked at the box. The only way place he's in tank mode is right here on the back of the box. And um, if you look at the box, like, even here, like, that arm is too far in to be pegged in to that peg right there. It's sitting like this. Like, they don't even bother to peg it in in, in the, the picture because it doesn't work. Um, if you try to peg the, like, this this all pegs in the front. If you try to move this forward to where it pegs in, it causes the arm to angle out. Uh, like this. Let's see, now, now I can't really even peg it in because I've, I've broken the pegs off. But to, you can see to line it up, it pushes the arm out like this. And you still have to kind of push it forward, which ends up pulling the leg out, which ends up either screwing this up, or if you try to straighten this back out, it ends up pulling the leg out of the front. And it's just, and it's not something I'm forgetting, because these actually, the, the leg right here, and this little piece right here, actually peg into the body. There's no room for them to slide any further forward or back, nor is there any way for the arm to slide further any further forward or back. It's on a ball post, and it can go this way, but it can't go this way at all. You can lift it up a little bit, but you can't then lift this up a little bit because it's pegged into the body. It's just a horrible, horrible design. And so you kind of just, like I said, I snipped the pegs off so they weren't also, when I put them in a normal position, weren't also pushing the legs out. Um, and, and, and when you do that, you, you can have them in a, in a pretty decent tank mode. Um, you, know, you, you can have them represent his tank fairly well. Uh, you just, like I said, and here it is over here. You can't, this one may still have enough left to peg him. But see, if you peg that in, it doesn't fit. It fits kind of straight like that, but um, you can see it's already starting to. You can see that how this is this is supposed to be straight, and now you can see how it's making it angle out. It's supposed to be like that, so it's it's always kind of fighting like that. And if you make this straight, you can see how that peg just doesn't fit. It, it it's just off by that much. There there's where it's supposed to be. Here's where it actually ends up. So um, just a bad design, and I can't even think. I, I I've looked over this. I can't even see where maybe. Mine's a mold error. That just seems to be how it is. You can, you can't line everything up without it all just popping apart. See, I, I get these pegged in properly, and this pops out of place. I can peg this in, 
but then these start coming loose up here. It's it's just eh, it's frustrating. You can like I said, you can approximate a decent tank if you just cut those pegs off and uh, and just deal with the loose arms as a turret. So there's that. I mean, it does have the hose. You can plug it in right back here as well as come over the gun, and that's how it's supposed to peg in according to the instructions. It doesn't stay that way for long, but uh, it is how it's supposed to peg in like that. So, there you go. Um, we'll go ahead and transform him to robot mode. You can leave You can leave the cannon and the blade on. You can take them off. They say to take off the hose, and it does make it a little easier if you do that. Um, so don't bother about unpegging these since they didn't work. Um, unpeg the front, and then you fold the, the legs up like this and out. Uh, rotate the whole thing down and around. Yeah. Just like that. Uh, then you flip out the little toe spikes. I like that they kept the toe spikes. They're, they're a much softer rubbery plastic, as you can see. Uh, they bend really easily, but uh, they don't stay bent. But they, he does have his little toe spikes here. Uh, then you split the uh, the chest pieces. Actually, the ribs actually split out a little bit. This one likes to be a pain in the batootie. There we go. Um, you split those out along his chest like that. Uh, bring the arms around. Rotate the arm around like that. Bring the cannon around. Now the cannon does peg on and off, uh, so you can take that off if you want. Um, and the same over here. Bring this around. Flip the sword around. And then you take these, you flip them down, uh, open them up like that, and then flip them up, and th these little pegs that peg together peg right into his back. And there's Shockwave in robot mode. And he's actually, like I said, his robot mode, okay, there's a little bit of fun to be had here. He's a nice little robot. Um, like I said, if you want to have, have him have an arm, you can pop the cannon off. You can plug it right back on. Um... He's got ball jointed shoulders. He's got ball jointed elbows. He does have an upper bicep, not really a bicep. I guess it maybe it's a bicep. I don't know. Upper arm swivel. Um, you can do it like this. So uh, ball hips, ball knees. Um, his feet are just like that. There's no really posability in his feet, but uh, but he's got a good range of motion. His head does turn, and it actually turns quite a bit, uh, considering that the uh, this comes up right behind it. Um, he's actually got quite a bit of range of motion in his head. So robot mode, okay, okay. The, 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 the cardboard wasn't the only fun bit. The robot mode's not too bad. Um, oh, and then the, you, you can also attach the hose just like you could on the main robot. You plug it in back here, you plug it in down here to his gun, and he's got his hose. Also, the way this is lined up, a whole lot of, if you want to pop the cannon over to the, oh crap, but then the, ah well. But so you can pop the cannon over to the other side, but then it's a little harder to get the hose in. It would have to come all the way around. Anyway. There he is. Uh, not, not super horrible. Uh, and then th this cannon bit, uh, butt loving robot. You can flip this up like this, flip this down like this, uh, and then flip this down. And that's supposed to be his ground weapon. And you can put the missile in. It's really just kind of straightening it out. And he can come up if you flip the. Uh, you can actually take the cannon here. And you can plug it in over here. So he's got like a dual cannon going on. Um, you have that store backwards if you want. Oh, no, I guess you can't. What does that do? Ah, eh, whatever. But you can plug that in as a separate cannon. He, he can come back, and he does, ha he does have like... He's got claws, and there's like a little divot in his claws, so you can clip weapons into it. Uh, so you can clip his hands onto here. Kind of get him all hunched shouldered. So now he's controlling his ground weapon. Now he is the butt raper. Anyway. Yeah. So now he's behind this now dog shaped uh, Genozor appealing cannon. <laughs> some of you are going to get that joke and some of you aren't. And if you get it, uh, thumbs up. Um, so there, there, yeah. So he's got this, this cannon here. Then you can attach attach all this again, pop off like stupid. I, I never really got this, the the point of this whole blade thingy anyway. So um, pop that off, and then you take this, you pull the whole thing up like this. You flip these uh, 
flip these pieces out and these shoot the missile oh, behind the cabinet. Anyway, um, bring this up and uh, forward. And you can fit, it's supposed to be more flat. What is wrong with you? You fit. You, you stood. You stood up just fine earlier. It did. I swear to God, it stood up just fine earlier. There we go. I guess like this. Um, and that's supposed to be a battle platform. And then they just say battle platform. I don't know if it, it looks like you might be able to. I don't know. There's a peg right here that I have no idea what it does. Um, but that's just supposed to be the battle platform, and it doesn't show. The instructions don't show him standing in it. Um, and like I said, he's too, I guess he'd have to kind of stand back behind it because he, he can't fit in there. So it's basically just a mode to, uh, to be annoying. Like I said, it's, it's not a well thought out toy. I don't know if he can. So let me, let me get the instructions and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, see, you that's it. That's it's, it's just uh, there's the battle base. Um, flip that panel up, um, but it doesn't. Sh I don't know if he's supposed to interact with it. I think it's just supposed to be like an automated base. So uh, yeah, whatever. So uh, is it worth the fourteen bucks? I don't know. Shockwave, it's robot mode, not bad. Like I said, and it, it is the most action packed. It's, it's a much more action-packed diorama in the background than Megatron's Look, I'm in the Jungle. Um, I don't think it's worth 15 bucks. I, it, it, Shockwave by himself as a commander figure prob would probably be worth it. Um, and that, that's about all I could say about this. this. This is not really anything. I mean, like, you get his full tank mode without this thing anyway. It doesn't add anything like a trailer for Prime or Megatron does. Um, to their vehicle mode. It's just there. It doesn't really make sense as a base. It doesn't really look like anything as spectacular or exciting as this uh, four-legged uh, lucid dreaming cannon of doom. So, uh, so yeah, it's just kind of there. Um, and I, I don't know if this really, despite the fact that it is a big chunk of plastic, I don't know if it really justifies the cost increased versus just marketing him by himself. So, yeah, get it if you want it, I guess. That, that's really all I can say on it. I'm not, I'm not, I'll, I'll probably pose, display him in robot mode, and for that, um, I, it won't bug me. But um, play value, not, it's just not fun. It's just really not fun. It's frustrating to get everything lined up, even remotely correctly, because it turns out you physically impossible to do correctly. Um, so, yeah. Um, not, not a fan. Cyberverse, uh, laser weight, laser fusion tank, shock, shockwave fusion tank, Cyberverse.